But this is what we have right now. Fudo versus Punk. Punk after that devastating 2-0 lead, slipping out of his fingers um, against Daigo just about an hour ago. He's now dropped into the, the loser's bracket. No, he won against Daigo, sorry. Who he won against Daigo. I really can't remember. Who said Punk I must losers? have been out of the room Storm when he Kubo. went. Storm Kubo. Yes, he, he was did. Two he he, he was 2-0 up against Storm Kubo. Yeah, and he came back. And he came back, tried to switch to Chun-Li for the last game. Didn't work out, man. I can't believe that one. Round All right, one. so it's going to be Karen versus Mika here. This is actually a pretty hard matchup for Mika because it's very hard for her to get in. You try and do drop kick or standing or jumping this. Sorry. Yeah, the neutral is quite frustrating for her, but once she's in, she's in. Right? Oh, yeah, of course. No doubt about that. But I love Punk going back to Karen because he's so elegant with the character. It's just Punk written all over him. Oh, he just he owns that character, man. It's so good to see him back to her. And it's got him the results. I mean, it's hard to believe this kid was, you know, just a few months before the end, Character in a position where he might not qualify. Qualif qualif yeah, and he just turned on, went back to Karen, and it naturally flowed oh, again. But that crush fist gets stomped out. Looking good here for Fudo, and there's the crush counter straight into the V trigger, and he's not going to spend the bar yet. That, that, that's good. Like kick as well. Gets the throw. Gets him a tiny life lead here. But look at these guys, both a fraction away from critical arc. Next well, hit wins. Let's oh, not forget, he's dead. there it was. I was just about to mention it. Let's not forget, V trigger one. Ready and waiting. Got hit, and the thing is, it said counter hit because Punk did know it was coming. So he tried to challenge or stop it beforehand, or a miscalculation on the range for the whiff punish. But nevertheless, Fudo gets that round. Round two. And we're going to gain two Fine. hit. <laughs> That's so funny. Sorry, just watching uh, some Knuckle Duke fans interact with him. It's uh, <laughs> hilarious how tentative they are around the kid. Ooh, and that's one of button that's problematic for Meek in this matchup. Crouching hard punch. Good anti air, stops drop kick, gets a crush counter. Love that crouch medium anti air for the neutral jump. Right, Fudo looking a lot better than he did earlier. Yeah. That's getting blocked out. He has to overextend and commit to an unsafe move, and that's a big punish there from Punk. Just lets it fly there, does Punk. Fudo right at that corner. No confirm that crap medium. Who's the closer? Who's the punish? And that's what? gonna be the punish oh straight to the days. corner. That's brilliant. Back throw. He's racking up. He needs a giant swing and he'll get it. He's trying to bait Bikes him. up. He gets the jump inside. He has to activate here. Another jump out of the corner. Oh, he had the tap tap there. Didn't realize. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a punish. That is a legitimate punish there. He didn't. He had to take it. But he did not. That was absolutely brilliant. The reason he walked back was just in case the reversal came out. And if the opponent does up back, you can see it and go, right, I'm wingless airplane that. So brilliant stuff. Up anything, right? It catches you out the air so early. So clever there from Fudo to just dash forward and kick back there. Yeah. And, and put the fear into the heart of um, Punk. And he jumped back there in fear and got caught. See, what would have been galaxy brain behavior if his Punk woke up with crouching medium kick? <laughs> All right, there's the giant swing straight to the corner. This is, this is where Mika struggles. She has to be extremely patient and really force a mix-up to happen here because she does not outperform Karen in the neutral. It's an uphill battle. Yeah, I mean, Fudo's probably the exception to that, though. He can kind of hang with anyone, but I feel like he will be at a tiny disadvantage regardless of that. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that one. He is the most footsie-based Karen player. Ah, oh, there you go. We're punishing the Tenko Sorry, again. Mika player. That's the throw here. Another throw. Another you might one. try to go for a shimmy here. No, try to go for Crouch Fears. Activate. Oh, he might go for the What's it gonna be? In front! Yeah. Oh my goodness, Fudo. It's not an unblockable, but because he can jump and he'll get a cross-up jump light kick, that was totally legit. Yeah, it's Punk like a 50-50, man. 50-50, baby. What's it gonna, gonna, gonna be? It's looking good for Fudo here at the moment. Again, another dive, but we're gonna be punished here by Punk. Good damage there. Did not hit light, didn't commit to it. Right. Yeah, Fudo taking a lot, a lot of like minor risks, you know, that jump splash. Like you said, he's kind of avoiding the neutral where he, where he can, and that's what makes her strong in the matchup. She can put a second guess into it's Karen's defensive game. All right, good counter confirmed hit. there from Fudo. No command grab yet, but he's going to oh, get the confirmed. He's going to go for a three. He's going to reset. All yes, side. he is. And he does the late Look at the stun, though. Stun gets wrong here. Ooh, Just there, there, back. No escape for you. Damn. Just about to survive this. He's going to reset, reset him. What's it going to be? Jump forward. Damn. What an unorthodox oh, decision there from Fudo. Needs to activate. Palmer to activation, gets a throw. Punk can still win this. And he backs off, yeah, I respect it. Just a slight life lead in Fudo's face, but it's gone. Oh, the takeo misses 2-0 oh, Fudo. Oh, no, that was so unfortunate. Just a fraction too far away. As he saw Fudo jump towards, he thought he had an opportunity there, Punk. It was the right choice. He was further away than he realized. He's in big trouble now. He's got to do now what a lot of his opponents have tried to and successfully have done against him. 
2-0 down. Now. He's been 2-0 up in his last two games. Suddenly, he's 2-0 down. Well, look, he's got no choice. If you want to continue your journey in the Capcom Cup, you've got to win three games on the trot against Fudo. I've got to say, for me, coming into this tournament, with the form Punk's been in recently, he was the American hope for me. Of course. All right, but again, he's, he's had good starts to all these matches. He's had good starts. It's just when the rounds are about to end. Regular throw, stuns racking up here. He's playing it safe at the moment and accumulates that stun. He's going to close out the round. Got one bar. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have enough. He's jumping about. It. The EX Orochi does a ton of damage. Yeah, as long as he gets that bar. And he did. All right, looking good. The start of a turnaround here for Punk. Again. It's that splash again. I do, I do like the risk he's taking, but half the time it has been punished. And that, that's one of the reasons why you can't drop kick arbitrarily in this matchup. Crouchy Eli, Pierce. He goes well to connect. All right, looking good here for Punk. Back, back throw, throw yes. start. That's not it yet. He'll get the bar coming. again, though. Wow. This will be allowed this time. Woo. One more bet. He needed that. There you have it. The frame kill into the throw. Punk registers. But is it too little too late? 2 1 down now. He needs to ride this momentum and bring this one back. A crowd now gathering to get behind the American hope that is the young Punk. He's in trouble here, though. I mean, Fudo is looking good. Well, look. He's 2-1 down. Four. That was a great adaptation and a swift one at that. So let's hope he can keep it up here and keep his life in Capcom Cup alive. Yeah, definitely made an adjustment. Nice Fudo going to adjust the adjustment. Nice All punish right. there. That was too close, that drop kick. Yeah, minus four on block. Yeah, it's a, I love that choice. Back is out of jump range. To take away the mix up completely. But Fudo getting eaten alive right now. He's got a read right. Overhead connect. Punk now on a win streak. Three rounds in a row. No meter needed to kill this one. Whoa. Oh, he gets the reset, he the reset wow. and build a little bit of meter. What a round and what? That was the unnecessary nice. reset. Hyping himself up there. Builds a bit of meter, as you said. Damn, what a statement from Punk that last round. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, he starts off again. Brilliant combo. Change, Jammers. Again, I think he's so confident right now. He'll actually let that rock. There you go. Yeah, just trying to keep that at bay, keep a control, and that's it. Karen's really good at keeping Mika honest for the that's most part of this matchup. He's got a great kill One more hit will do it. Yeah, he's been dominant on the ground for most of this, but now he's starting to eliminate that jump game. He was getting out of range. Oh, 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 that situation has happened like five times. Wake up, and Rick, look. Oh, oh, no! Oh, what the? <laughs> no way! The temerity of this man to wake up CA. I swear, I think that's been the, the top. Highlight of Capcom Bloody Cup Finals. Oh, the Wake up, Critic oh, and get in everybody. That was rapid. Dude, listen, I feel like it was about a minute ago we said he was 2 0 down. Was it not? Yeah, How this, long has it been? This, okay, don't forget to select here. Hopefully, he's not going to go with that birdie pick, but this is one of the things I want to touch up on about Punk as a player that I don't hear spoken about enough throughout the world. Talk to me, talk it's to me, Jonas. How swift his adaptation skills are and going back to buy the book. He's like, right, I, I did have this game plan in mind, but I'm trying to adjust the play I'm facing. And he goes, right, 2-0 down. Let's go back to what we're supposed to do. Let's go back to square one. Right? And again, another thing I like about Punk is his throw bait game. It's one of the best in the business. All right, we're down to the last yeah, game he here. He utilizes that walk speed really well, Jammers. He just and he hasn't it. even had to go to that side of his game yet. In exactly. Set. It's just been neutral and spacing. He's been spacing himself out of a position where that jump becomes ambiguous and Mika can do things. You either meet her in the air or you get out of the way of that jump to take away that 50-50 completely. He did that. It stopped Fudo from jumping, Round forced one. him to play the ground game, and he dominated in that right. ground game. That's exactly what Karen wants to do. Keep Mika honest. Keep her on the ground. So where that's where Karen shines and wins the matchup. Whoa. Oh, there you go. That is some piece of tech you can Punk use to avoid. Punk is sets going on. There you go. It's like he remembers everything about this character and how to fight her. Gonna escape the corner there with the target combo to shoot Peach. He has to absorb that jump in. And I'll tell you something. There's been no command grab from Fudo this entire set. There's one. <laughs> he, wanted to, he wanted to do another one. <laughs> All right. How clever it would be to stop throwing in a command grab every game, but I think Punk's anticipated that change. Oh, I think he was waiting for it the entire time. There you go. It's like minus eight, so EX Shooting Peach is the punish for that. Nice walk up for on the whiff jump. Look at Britain. Fudo's got to be careful and watch his feet. Activation coming now. The delay! Oh my Damn, days. Good patience there. Oh, Fudo wait, that no confirmed. Confirmed. Not dead. Fudo's still in this. Ah, oh, that's it. What wow. a turnaround. How many rounds? Is that five, five on row? the drop? Five, five rounds. rounds in a row right now. In record breaking speed. Punk about to turn this around. Match point. Look at he's, he's he's brimming with confidence right now. Opens up with a regular throw here. 
and he is happy to play the neutral. Be patient and get good with punch on the dive bomb. And I've got to go, if he wins this, I need to go back and watch this and fully understand the adaptations he's made, aside from the ones we've looked at. It's, so just been, it's just been a little bit more patient. Oh my god, and I think Fudo that, feeling like he needs to extend himself. He's gets caught. Stand, One more bet. Wake up buttons. That was important. No! No, he's not dead yet! And the perfect close out pick! Oh my days, Buck, you beast! Six oh, rounds yeah. straight, Jammers. Bringing it back from 2 0 down. You said this kid's got the best adaptation in the game. If that's not an example of why you said that, I don't know what it is. Oh I my god. I cannot days. believe it. What a turnaround to go from two down in the jaws of defeat to six rounds on the drop to keep his life in Capcom Cup alive.